Okay, Taurus. The overall energy for the month is the Stone Knight. And the Stone Knight is the night of strategy and planning. Sort of has that checkerboard shield there that he's riding with, so it looks like a chessboard or checkerboard, and that requires a lot of strategizing and a lot of knowledge and foresight. So the Stone Knight is an energy of planning. Overall, for the whole month, you want to be strategizing and planning and not acting in haste. We're starting off with Grail 4. So, this is kind of a gloomy card. It's feeling emotionally flat. Nothing's really exciting you or interesting you. Um, it can sort of be a feeling of boredom or ennui. Um, but just, you know, there's you don't feel that there's anything to get excited about. You're just kind of emotionally flat. Then there's the Grail Queen. So this could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person, or someone with the Grail Queen's qualities. So this is a very gentle and loving person, someone who is really intuitive and has a lot of faith. And this is faith in herself, faith in others, faith in the universe, faith in God. Um, she really is good about following her heart and following her intuition. And then we have Stone 6. And Stone 6 is a card of give and take. So this can be a card of lending, where you're receiving a loan and you're paying it back. Um, this can also be a card of giving a loan and having it paid back. Um, this can simply be giving or receiving gifts. Stone six is about you get getting out what you're putting in. So the bonfire in the center is reflecting out light and heat to the stones. And that heat is being reflected back. And that light is being reflected back toward the bonfire. So um, in that way, you're, you're getting back what you're putting into something. We have sword four here. Sword 4 is about rest, meditation, contemplation, healing. Um, really taking that time out um, so that you have balance. You need to balance your rest with your activity. You need to balance your work with your play. And, and really make sure that you're taking some, some time for yourself, for healing, for contemplation. And this could even um, include meditation and prayer. We have the Sleeping Lord. The Sleeping Lord is Judgment. So this can be a final decision about something that you're working on, a project that you're involved with, some question that you've had, um, some legal judgment that's coming forth, some legal decision, um, even a financial decision or financial judgment, um, especially if this is in regards to some type of a loan um, or division of assets even, so some type of final judgment. And this is the central theme or central issue for the month. And this is, of course, followed directly by the flowering of Logar. And I've said this before, I really don't know how to pronounce this, so I apologize. So I'm not really certain of how to pronounce Logar. But essentially, this is the world card. And the world card is signifying that a cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning. So this can indicate karmically that 
something has finished. So the final judgment or the judgment can simply mean that um, you've decided something um, or something has been decided. So let's say we're here for a purpose um, or we have a karmic lesson to learn. One of those lessons has been learned or achieved. Um, so too, um, we are finishing up with something that we are supposed to finish in our life that has been um, some lesson that we've been divinely guided to learn or some, some project that we've been divinely guided to complete and now we are starting a new cycle. So um, this judgment um, basically can be a, a reward. Um, an ascension to the next level. For example, this is kind of a silly example, but I've used it before. Um, video games, you complete one objective and then you move on to the next objective and these tend to build upon one another. So this is the completing of an obje objective that you were meant to do or meant to complete and the beginning of a new cycle. We have the seeker. So this is starting off on a new path. And um, it, again, it is following the world. So, you know, when we're completing something, we're beginning again, but we do have knowledge and experience to take with us. So if we are starting off on a new path as the seeker, basically we are starting off on a journey that is unrelated to something that we've just completed. So um, this is something that, you know, we may, that may be totally new to us, that we may have um, not got the knowledge or the experience to apply to. So we're moving forward and we're gaining that knowledge and experience as we move along. Um, with the seeker, there is a sense of adventure, a sense of courage, a sense of optimism and hope. And it's really um, stepping out into the world and and uh, stepping into the unknown with uh, great courage and optimism. We have Stone Five here, and Stone Five is about a spiritual or physical lack. So this is feelings of spiritual or physical poverty, of being left out in the cold, and this um, might even be in regards to a. Um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person. The Stone 5 card often shows up to let us know that we need to ask for help with that situation or ask for someone to help us um, or, or seek some form of assistance. And then we, of course, have Merlin. <laughs> so you're pro progressing very, very nicely through the tarot, I must say. Um, you've, you've completed a cycle. You've completed, so the fool's kind of completed one journey um, as he progresses from the seeker all the way to the world. And you have done that. You have just received the Sleeping Lord and the Flowering of Lover. So that's basically judgment and the world. So um, you have completed that cycle and now you're starting again. You're starting a new cycle and you right away this month um, are starting off as the fool, stepping out onto this new path into the unknown and then boom, Merlin, right in the outcome position. So Merlin is about taking, you know, taking that divine guidance, taking those dreams that you have or those hopes that you have or those ideas that you have and turning them into something solid, bringing them into the physical world, um, making those dreams a reality. Um, so, you know, if this is some idea for an invention, this is you drawing up the plans. Um, this is you kind of really creating that, bringing that forth into the, into the physical world. So, um, you're moving out on this new path and you have some great ideas and you have the ability to manifest those ideas and that's really important here. So um, you have the ability to make things happen. And uh, it's, a, it's a really creative um, and powerful card. So Stone Knight with the overall energy is going to be really important here I think too for planning your next stage. So um, 
you know, if, if this were maybe happening in the second stage of the month or the second half of the month, um, I do have a couple of fours here. So, um, you know, could be we're experiencing these endings around September 4th um, or the fourth week of September or four weeks from now. Um, we do have, you know, two fours that are here and they're both about this sort of sense of being emotionally flat or bored and then this need to heal and rest and recharge. So this could just be your batteries are totally worn down too. So you've probably invested a lot of effort into what's going on and, and uh, what's happening here. Um, so the sleeping Lord being in the center is judgment. And judges, judgment is about hearing your calling. It is about that ascension and that, you know, ascending to the next level. So it's... It's really taking stock of things and hearing a call to action. And um, this is about really moving forward, completing a cycle and moving forward and starting anew. So you're really starting something new, something something different. And I think something that is going to challenge some of this Grail 4 or Sword 4 energy. So um whatever it is i wish you the best of luck it's going to take some planning and some foresight so um definitely uh, make sure that you are you are actively strategizing and um make sure that you don't allow these um creative ideas to go to waste um you know you're going to be feeling probably really creative um, have a lot of great ideas toward the end of the month and uh, you're probably going to want to write that down. Um, you're probably going to want to want to take a chance to to um, maybe brainstorm a little bit and really see what you can do to to create your new path and and, and help yourself move forward through um, yet another yet another path. All right. I hope that I'm explaining this well enough. I hope that I'm making sense with this. Oh, I love this card. So we have the Pendragon, pure male energy. But what better card to pair with the Arthurian tarot than the Pendragon? So Pendragon literally translates from the Welsh as Chief Dragon. It was the last name of King Arthur and of his father Uther Pendragon. It means chief and within the dragon fey energy of this name is the ability to defend and protect, to rule and to be a very strong leader. The Pendragon is a ruler and as such his responsibilities as well as his influence are vast. He is powerful but a loving heart truly does beat beneath the fierce exterior. Above all, true and loyal, he is a faithful and passionate lover too. The Pendragon will move mountains and travel the earth and beyond to be united with his love. He will also do all he can for his offspring, even to the extent of building a foundation which will shelter them for years to come. Okay, so this card signifies pure, sheer masculine energy, and as such, it suggests issues and conditioning to do with the masculine role models in your life. So maleness is somehow significant in your life when this card makes it its appearance. The Pendragon can also come up when men are facing fatherhood and responsibility for the first time or the seventh. It is for women a revealing card about their attitudes towards masculinity as defined by our current culture. This card often comes up when we lack or seek a strong male role model in our life. If it is reversed, it truly indicates that your connection to your own internal masculine aspect is weakened and needs to be reconnected with. Let yourself be strong. Well, I don't generally shuffle in a way that reversals come out of the deck. Um, but um, for me, I think that this resonates most with 
moving mountains and traveling the earth and beyond and doing all you can for those you love, even to the extent of building a foundation which will shelter them for years to come. So you're building something and you're completing something and you have a lot of strength and you're acting as a leader and you know you're taking a new path so right now you're being very strong and that um, is exuding a very strong energy all right thank you so much Taurus and I hope you have a really wonderful month of September take care